Your first lab assignment was to make a flip coin function and it returns either the string heads or the string tails. Now that's a specification, so it's important that that is what you return because the rest of your programming team is going to expect those strings to be coming out of your function when they import it and run it. It's common in Python to return strings because it makes such readable code to use those strings. And I want to point out, well, first of all, look at line 8. Random, random range between 0 and 2. Now, you might have found some other function in random that was more useful, more direct. I'm with you on that. That's good. I used rand range because that was from the example. This is either going to give us a 0 or a 1. And I called the 0 tails, and then I returned tails. Now, a lot of programmers, even well-seasoned programmers, will stick an else in there and do an extra indentation. I do want to point out that that is duplicate logic, that you forced an indentation that was not necessary, and that takes down readability. So it's better not to do duplicate anything. Here's my main. I'm going to test it. How am I going to test it? I am going to start with heads equals zero because I'm going to add up all my heads while I roll it num times from my call. I see that's 100 times. So that's that wonderful for loop to go a hundred times on line 15. There's no other way to do that that makes any sense. We'll flip the coin, and if we get heads from it, then we add one to our heads. Otherwise, we don't do a thing. And we, when we come out, we'll give a report. With a hundred flips, heads came up the number of times. Oh, look at this. I have two F strings with no white space between, so they get concatenated together by the interpreter automatically. So that made it look nicer in the code. Or, now here I'm di dividing heads by number of times, and I'm formatting it one place to the right of the decimal after I multiply it up by 100. And then we add a percent. All that happens with that percent. There it is. Very nice. Here we see lab 80 underscore 3. And the first thing we see is that I have all this duplicate code. And, oh, I bet you wish we could import the answer to 80 underscore 2. That would be much better. But that's another issue. We'll have to learn that soon. We see on line 36 that I call get average of 103. Get average takes in the number of experiments and my target. Well, that's breaking the style guide. Please don't fire me. Okay, so we're supposed to get heads a certain number of times in a row, perhaps three. On line 16, I'm setting both heads and count identifiers to zero. This is available in Python. And I'm saying while the heads, which is 0, is less than the target, which is 3, go around again. Every time I go around, I add 1 to my count because a count is how many times it took to get 3 heads in a row. When we break out of that is because the heads came up to 3, was no longer less than 3, and we come out there and give the, the count. So we flip the coin. If it's heads, we add 1. If it isn't heads, we start at zero. Now, you know how to do that in your mind without a thought, if you think about that experiment. The trick is to slow your thought down so you hear it and put it in your algorithm. There it is. That's all there is to it. Let's see what is the average number of times, because that's a good number for gambling. Here is get average. We're going to do that many experiments, and that's the target we're getting. There's our total. We're going around that many times. That idiom just pops up all the time. And we're going to keep adding in the return from calling get heads that many times. And then we're going to average the answer over that many experiments. So here is my report. The total divided by the number of experiments. It's always good to do. 0.1f to have 
one more significant figure than what came in when you're doing a division like that to get that many in a row. Alrighty, what is that? 13 and a half. Good number. I'll see you when you're ready to move on to the next lab.